Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce for Beginner series. In this video, we are going to discuss what is Salesforce database, what are the objects in Salesforce, and what are the fields in Salesforce. So, what is a database? Database is an organized collection of data generally stored in a form of table. Uh, for example, consider this table. We have columns over here. We have rows. Okay. And uh, generally, column represents the type of data, whereas row represents the instance of a data. Now, coming back to Salesforce, a table is represented by an object in Salesforce. So, and uh, a column is represented as fields, whereas a rows uh, in a table is represented as records of a object. Okay. Let's say we need to store data of a student. So we'll create a custom object named student. Then uh, to represent these columns, we'll have to create the fields in object. And to represent these records, we will create instances of objects. Okay. So uh, what are the different types of objects in Salesforce? So there are two types of objects. We have standard objects and we have custom objects. Okay. Standard objects are present in Salesforce by default. For example, we have account object, contact, leads, opportunities, etc. Okay. Salesforce provided these standard objects as they are used by most of the businesses around. Okay. Uh, then we have custom objects. Uh, custom objects are created based on our requirements. For example, we need to store data of a student. So we'll create a student object. Okay. What are the different types of fields in Salesforce? So we have uh, basically two types of fields, uh, standard fields and custom fields. Again, standard fields are present in Salesforce by default when you create a custom object or also they are present in a standard objects. Okay. And these standard fields, we cannot delete them. For example, we have name field, owner field, uh, we have last modified by, created by, etc. Okay. Custom fields are the fields which we create to meet our specific requirements. Okay. For example, uh, to store the role number of a student, we'll create a role number field in student object. Right. And these custom fields can be deleted by us because we only created that. Okay. So let us understand these things in Salesforce org so that it would be clear for you. When you log into your Salesforce account, you can see this is the home page of Salesforce. You will be landing over here. Then uh, you can see these buttons over here. And uh, if you click on this switch to lightning experience, you will be seeing the different view altogether. So this one is a classic view. And if you click on switch to lightning experience, you will be redirected to lightning experience view of your account. Then you have a setup over here. So if you click on setup, you'll be re redirected to the setup page where you have ability to search for things you, which you want to look into your Salesforce account. Okay. Now, uh, this is your username over here. So if you click on this, you can see my profile, my settings, developer consoles, and all, you can log out from your Salesforce or from here. Okay. Uh, in my settings, you can change your passwords. Uh, you can set locales, etc. Okay. So we are going to look into these as and when required. Uh, right now, we'll look into objects and fields. So if I click on objects over here in the setup search box, so I can see create objects, right? So if I click on objects, I'll be redirected to list of custom objects in my Salesforce org. So you can see all the custom objects over here present in my Salesforce org. Some of the objects are uh, brought in using manage packages so that we can look into later. Then you have ability to create a new custom object from here. Okay. So if I click on new custom object, I can see a lot of information that we can enter. So if I go, go here, I can type the label of object. So let's say I want to create a student object. So I'll type student. We'll have a plural label as students. And there, if you want, you can specify some description why you are creating the object. Okay. So for demo. 
so when you create a custom object there is a field which gets created by default and you can change that label of the field and you can also change the data type of this field okay so right now we'll keep it as text only and there are some things which we can look into later so right now it's not required to look into these things so if i click on save i'll, I'll see that error message right so that object name is already in use okay so student object we have already created earlier so what i'll do is i'll just change the name label and also the api name of an object okay so i'll just click on save now so our custom object is ready student demo okay so if i go on to check now we can see standard fields here and we can see custom fields and relationships here okay so this is a custom objects and for custom objects we have standard fields and custom fields and these standard fields basically are student name okay then we have owner of the record which will be creating for this object then we have last modified by and created by fields okay custom fields we can create from here and let's say we want to specify the role number of a student in our database so what i'll do is i'll just create a new custom field i'll select the data types okay so first screen here when you are creating a custom field it will ask you to select a data type of fields okay and these are the many data types present in salesforce which we can use to create our field we have currency we have date date time email geolocation number etc okay right now i want to create a roll number field so i'll select a number field over here i'll click on next okay so i need to enter some details for the fields uh, first would be the label of field so i'll specify roll number okay and uh, you can add a description over here and you can specify help text you click on next yeah so uh, once you go to next screen it will ask you to specify field level security for your field and these things we are going to look into later when we we'll look into uh, field level security or the security part in database in salesforce okay i'll click on next over here now we can specify where can we add this field in uh, the page layout so right now we have only one page layout for this object so we'll click on save and add this field to this page layout okay so you don't have to worry we will discuss page layouts and everything which you are not getting here right now okay so we have created a custom object till now we have created a custom field for our custom object okay and uh, see you can see this delete button also over here so this is a custom object right so and this object was created by you so you can delete this custom object okay now uh, let's look into the standard objects okay so we have account standard object so standard objects uh, you just have to search the name of standard objects over here and you'll be able to see the details related to them so you don't have to go to objects okay so objects would take you to the custom objects only so let's say I search for accounts so you can see the details related to accounts over here okay we have fields validation rules triggers etc so these thing we'll look into later so right now we'll look into fields only okay so if we click on fields i can see these many fields present on our account object so this is a standard field present on account object and this is the list of custom fields present on account object okay you can see you can delete these custom fields in our standard account object and you cannot delete these standard fields okay you can just edit them fine so we have seen standard object we have seen custom objects and also we have seen the standard fields in both standard and custom objects and custom fields in custom and objects and standard objects okay now we'll see how we can create records in our salesforce okay 
so records are nothing but instances of our object okay so let's say we have account object over here right so we'll go to the account tabs okay and how do we create a tab that i'll show you in later videos okay so we have account tabs so if i click on accounts this will take me to the records present in our salesforce org for the account object okay so right now if i so we have a filter over here if i click on all accounts so it will show me the list of all accounts present in our salesforce org okay and we can directly go to the account starting from these letter from here okay let's say if i open a particular account so i'll open this account record right that me that means uh, it's an instance of an account object okay you can see the different fields present over here and we have values for these fields also okay so we can see the account owner value the one who created this record of account uh, what are the name what is the name of account then uh, who created by and there are some custom links and all other fields also okay so let's go on to create a new account we have a new account button over here so if i click on new account button it will take me to the page where we can create instance or record of a account okay so uh, we have some mandatory fields over here so whenever you see a field uh, with this uh, mark over here red mark so these fields are mandatory fields for creating record of particular object okay so for account we have name field as mandatory so if i click uh, i write it down as test account and even if i don't fill other details i would be able to create this record okay let's say we write some website field And I click on this save button okay so you can see we'll be able to create a new account record or we can say instance of our account object see fine so that is how we create records of an object in Salesforce right in this video we have discussed what is Salesforce database what are the objects and records in Salesforce what are the fields in Salesforce what are different standard and uh, custom objects then how can we create a custom object how can we create new fields in salesforce okay and how finally how can we create records in a salesforce object fine so that's it for this video do let me know in comments if you have any doubts and also do not forget to subscribe this channel okay thank you